We are moving right ahead in the coffee cup prompts over on my Facebook group, Two All Cosmics Media. Pop on over, join us, post the images of what you create utilizing these monthly prompts. One prompt will be pulled out at the beginning of each month, and I am going to share every week what I've created utilizing that prompt. For the month of October, I pulled out wait for it, index cards. And the index cards are going to be the medium that I will use. And once each week, I will post Sunday at 1.30 what I've created utilizing this prompt. Let me share with you what I created during week one. This was a recipe index card that I turned into a journaling card to stick down inside a junk journal. On week two, I created these little notebooks utilizing the index card as the cover. And give me a minute to introduce my channel and we'll get started with week three. stained index cards this week. I've pulled out six and I'm pairing them up. I have a die. I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot, roll these through, and come back with a hole created in each one, or a window. Now that I have this little window cut out, I thought it would be kind of nice to utilize this as sort of a specimen card. So I am back to the Big Shot with this small die, and I'm gonna utilize that to identify the specimen that I put inside this window. Now, to create that specimen, I think I'm gonna pull out some of my labels. So I have this box of labels that I keep, or stickers, I guess they are, rather than labels, and I'm just gonna sort through here and find some things that I think will work. I've landed on the three stickers that I think I want to use, so I'm going to set those aside and we will get back to those a little bit later. I'm going to um, use those for the inside of this, as, as you can see, but we'll, we'll do that a little bit later in the video, so stick with me and let's get the outside decorated. Putting some pure gold folk art paint on my gel press in a thin layer, letting that dry just a bit, and then laying down gray-green. So let's pull those colors with these index cards and see what we come up with. Looks like only three are going to fit, so we're going to have to do this a couple of times. Just rub that in. And I like the way that looks. I think that's going to make a nice representation for this experiment card. Lay down some additional gold. Let's just take a look at what we have here. While we're letting that gold dry, now the gray-green. And we'll decorate up this last card. I'm liking that, and I am looking at all of these cards. Some of them have a little bit more gold on them than others, so I've just laid down some additional pure gold and am picking it up on the cards in random spots. Okay, I'm happy with that. I can put my gel press up. And let's ink up the inside of these photo frames and also around the outside edge of the cards with the vintage photo. I 
And while I have that vintage photo Distress Oxide out, I have pulled out my script stamp and I'm going to go over the top of all of these cards with the script. And now for the gold paint pen. I've added some dots along the edge on some of these. Some of them I'm just going to splatter. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm splattering that gold paint over all of them. And this is the just the uh, craft paint pen that I buy at Michael's. And now to get our other little piece decorated up, I've pulled out the Distress Oxide Spray, sprayed both of these with um, a little bit of of the vintage photo and a little bit of yellow. And now I will pull, while those are drying, I'm going to do the most frustrating part of this project and pull the sticker apart and get the stickers laid on to the acetate. And I've pulled in a sheet of clear acetate and we'll stick all three stickers to the sheet and then I will determine what size I need to cut to make sure that I can adhere it to the inside of two of the cards without one sticking out over the edge and two to get it into place where my glue won't show. So let's just cut those into that perfect dimension and that depends on what size your hole is. You can do your hole with any number of things. As you saw, I use my Big Shot. You can use your X-Acto knife. You can use a punch. There's a dozen different ways that you can create a hole inside your two index cards. And what I did to make sure my holes were exactly positioned is I did two of them at a time. So I used the die and two cards and ran them through that big shot. Now I have my acetate cut to the size I need. I clean off all my fingerprints with a baby wipe and any little pink splatter I may have gotten on this sheet of acetate. And I'm going to place that bead of glue around that opening and lay my acetate down. And then I will glue the other card right over the top of that acetate. I'm just going to go over it with a baby wipe to make sure that glue kind of squishes out and gets everywhere I need. Make sure the edges are glued well so that this doesn't come apart. Wipe my fingerprints off the acetate once again. I think I got a little paint smear on that one that I'm trying to get off. And now I'll come back and add the word firm with my stamps and some black ink to each one of those little identification cards. <clears throat> A few little <clears throat> drops of liquid pearls. You know me, I always have to get those out. Then we'll let those liquid pearls dry and then we'll glue these right underneath that picture of that fern. And there we go. We have 
out of six index cards, we've cre created three slides or experiment slides or specimen cards, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. And now we have week number three of the October Coffee Cup Prompt. So I hope you'll pop over to the Facebook group and join us and post what you do with index cards this week. Thanks for being here. I would appreciate a thumbs up if you feel so inclined and I always enjoy your comments. Bye for now.